Hello, hello, hello. What is up, everybody? Happy Saturday evening, afternoon, morning for some people. Wherever it is you are, welcome to the Spring Showdown Finals. We're going to be running down the uh, the final two uh, rounds of the tournament. So we're going to be doing the semi-finals and then the final after that. And then we should be uh, ready to crown our Spring Showdown champion. So four teams remain. And we're going to be having three best of three series to decide who comes out on top so uh, i think the format will remain the same so we're going to be having best of threes from now until the end obviously or best of fives are the first of threes and then uh yeah we should be uh ready to go after that so i'll just run down the uh the schedule for tonight that is the uh the schedule so we're going to be having renegade versus kiri and then exploiting fire and sanctional those are going to be our semi-finals and then obviously the winners of each of those games will move forward to the final and then there we will crown our spring showdown champion yeah we should be ready to go in the next couple of minutes um i think we're just readying up the uh the first group and uh yeah this will be the first series i think it's renegade versus kiri and then following that we should be uh ready to go pretty much so yeah welcome everybody hope you're doing well see some people in the chat already you're all eager but uh yeah who do you think's gonna win Oh, the game looks different. What is this? I never realized the uh, the update was done now. So, uh, yeah, Ooh. the game looks completely different for me, which is kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, we should be uh, ready to get going in a couple of minutes. I think Mark's just sending around the link to everybody who needs it. And then uh, we'll be ready to go after that. As always with the uh, the first game, it normally takes a little while, so um, I think we're slowly getting the people in. Let me just have a look at the VIP server. It's just me and Kiri in at the moment, so uh, still plenty of people to join yet. But we should be starting in the next couple of minutes, at least I hope so anyway. So hopefully it'll be a full 4v4. I think I've already uh, spoken to some people today and they've said that uh, they might be a couple of members down. So uh, yeah, following that we should be uh, ready to go. How is everyone this evening, this afternoon, whatever? How y'all doing? Yeah, welcome in, everybody. 
I'm not too sure whether Mark's going to be doing giveaways and stuff, but um, yeah, we'll wait for Mark to do that. I normally put something in the um, in the announcement, but uh, I think I'm just waiting for that to be uh, put out at the moment. So uh, yeah, we're going to be getting the people in fairly soon, and then we should be uh, we should be doing giveaways pretty much throughout the whole stream. I think I'll keep to the same. Um, the same format with just doing giveaways after every series. So we're going to be doing three in total, I believe. Unless Mark wants us to do extra. I mean, it's up to me. I just run them. He ends up giving the prizes out. So, yeah. Apart from when Lyric wins, because he's already got everything, which is nice. Nice to see Felms finally on. Let me just see who's in the VIP. There's five in and we should have ten, I believe. Slowly getting people in now. So in the VIP, pretty much Kiri's entire team is in, and I don't think any of Releg Renegades are in at the moment, so. Kind of just waiting on nothing at the moment. Thank you. 
So yeah, all of Kiri's teams in, none of Renegade's teams in. So Alicia's just waiting on Renegade's entire team to join, I think. Right, so they are joining now. I think Renegade's in only. So unless it's a 1v4, I don't think we're going to be starting for a little while yet. We've been going for 12 minutes and we haven't even got the first game going yet. So yeah, still waiting, still waiting. Oh, well, then we got another one now. see what's going on so looking at the vip we've got felum gorfu kiri and zef i think that's all kiri's team and then we've only got renegade and swifts again for renegade's team so i think they've given them a minute to join i believe and then we're going to be readying up but i don't know oh my god thank you for the sub rick appreciate it Appreciate the sub, Brick. Appreciate it. I saw you subbed like a couple of days ago, I believe. But yeah, welcome in and thank you very much. Just waiting on the first game. Also, a whole year subbed. Damn. 
Shanna Pog. Can I get VIP? Um, maybe. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Normally, I give it to, like, the people that give me the most money. Or, like, the people that I know quite well. Oh my god, I think we're starting. Yeah, we're starting, boys. Let's go. Game one finally is beginning. So, game one of the semi finals is starting up fairly soon. I think we've got everybody in now. So, yeah, it's Renegade versus Kiri. And then we will uh, be ready to start now. Oh my god, here we go. Semi-finals time! Bro, this looks completely different. I mean, it actually looks a lot cleaner. I actually like it, to be honest. Looks really, really clean. Right then, here we go. Game one is just about to begin. It's Renegade versus Kiri. I believe we have an entire 4v4. So we should be pretty much be ready to go. 4v4, full teams. I don't think we had a full 4v4 last time. But yeah, welcome everybody. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. So game one of the tournament. We're on with Renegade. I guess he's the favourite for this at the moment. Considering he's literally... He's only lost one round in this so far. And that was a round to the first team he played. Which was Gabe. So he beat Gabe 3-1. And then obviously default wins... 
against Bilal, 3-0 to get to this point. Kiri was originally eliminated, but a redo meant that he had to go against Kev again. And uh, he won that 3-1 earlier on, which means he's now in the semi-finals. So Zeph is on Kiri's team. He's got a purple AR, purple SMG, which is pretty decent loot, to be honest. But yeah, we'll run the prediction now while uh, we're waiting for everything to uh, kick off. So the predictions there, um, you've got five minutes to vote. You can use your Twitch points on who you think will win um, this series. So not just this round, the entire series. So it's first to three rounds. It's a best of five. So there's going to be a bit more of this, a um, bit more action after this, pretty much. Going to go into swab. Am I saying that right? I think people told me that the X is actually a W, so it's pronounced Swab. I'll go with that from now on. He's tagged very low, down to four shield. Kiri there. Blue AR. Not too much to uh, talk about, really. Only got the 50 pot sh spare. Fell in there with this purple pistol. Also got a blue heavy AR and a green shotty. Swift there. Some greens, but he has got a purple semi-auto, I believe. He's just picked up a purple pistol as well. Uh, void with all blues. Gorfi with blues and a green SMG. Let's see if he gets anything from that. I think that's a portal fort he's just picked up, which will be useful in endgame. And then we're back to Renegade, who has now picked up a purple sniper and is open to use it. Tags for 23. A lot of 23s, actually. They're probably very low. Let's have a look at this prediction. Bro, what is this? Use your Twitch points. Don't do a poll, bruh. So people think Kiri's going to win? I know. More. Oh, six people think Renegade's going to win. Four people think Kiri. But Kiri has more points. Because Kev put 2k on him. Fair enough. Doesn't want to put a spike trap down. Apparently Swift has just crashed. Yeah, Swift isn't in the game. So I think that means it's now a 3v4 in favor of Kiri's team. So circles really far south towards wavy waterside. So Void could potentially hold. Gorfu is a bit further north, as is the rest of his team. Probably going to go for this drop, though, to start off with. He just absolutely launches himself. But yeah, they're going to go for this drop, but they're going to have to go very far south. If this is the case. Renegade also going to get a drop. Uh, 
There you go. Finally. So let's have a look at where the teams are. Fairly spaced out at the moment. That is where the teams are. And I believe it's now a 4v3 because Swifties crashed. So you can see Renegade's team there, bottom of the screen. On the right, that's their four. And they have to now face Kiri's team who are all trying to get natural high ground on the hill. And yeah, even though Void's placed a, uh, a Porter 4 down, he's still going to be uh, lower down than the rest of the team that he's facing. I think Renegade's crashed as well, it looks like. So it's now a 2v4. Zeph just gets chunked down to like 1 HP. 6 HP, actually. To be precise. Curious there building up Felum low. Void on the high ground of everybody. But it's down to 6 HP. He needs to use his minis. Felum down and traded by Void. So it's now a 3v1 I believe. So last player alive is Swab, who just has to uh, rotate with Zeph and everybody else being pushed in by the zone. Swab does end up rotating. And it looks like Felum's good. He's probably going to get rezzed. And he is, so it's a 4v1. Swab now needs to clutch. He's got a lot of health, actually. So he's got plenty of shield and he's got the four minis plus three medkits for a heal off potentially. He's going to be rotating towards Dusty to uh, try and have a bit of a break from all this. Looks like he's going to get the drop as well. So there we go. A bit of distance between Swab at the moment. So if you can try and find some uh, some engagements. But yeah, because we've had two crashes, you can see the announcement there. It might be a redo considering, uh, yeah, Ren and Swift. Literally, the PCs just packed in on them, I guess. So you can see the four there. It's a 4v1, but it might not be worth anything. But we'll see how Swab does. Just got tagged there. Just looking to heal up. So he's at practically max. Gets tagged again. But yeah, it should be interesting to see what happens. Oh yeah, so the round's ended pretty much. I think Mark's just ended it there. But Swab's still going to fight. Kiri's down. I mean, Zeph and Gorfu are low on, on health. Felum's pushing up. But yeah, looks as if Swab is going to be going down. So, despite Kiri's team winning the first one, it's going to be a redo. So, no points, unfortunately. Despite Swab doing a pretty decent effort to try and get themselves back in, but uh, didn't work in the end. So, it will remain nil-nil. I'm going to try and get everybody back in as soon as possible. 
And yeah, he actually lasted quite a long time, to be honest. But um, yeah, it was a bit of a tall order to do a 1v4. Got it down to a 1v3. But that is it. That is it. But it doesn't count for anything. We remain at nil-nil. So we'll try and get everybody back in as soon as possible. So for those of you that have just joined, this is tonight's schedule. So we're going to be doing Renegade versus Kiri. That is the match that you've just seen that's currently in progress. Um, and then we're going to be doing Exploiting Fire versus Synctional. And then the winner of those will be moving on to the final straight after. Um, so we will be finding a winner of this CC Cup tonight. Okay, so that first game didn't count for anything because both Renegade and Swift both crashed. Uh, so we're going to be redoing that and we're going to be getting everybody back in as soon as we can. But yeah, it's best of five, so it's first of three, first two, three rather. Uh, and that's going to be the format throughout the semi-finals and the finals. So once a team has won three rounds, uh, they win and they go through. So this is for a spot in the final. Just looking at the VIP. We've got four people at the moment just waiting for the final four. Thank you for the five bits, AJ. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Then we're just waiting for the final couple of people to join. How many have we got in? One, two, three, four, five, six. So just final two people before we uh, before we get going for this uh, redo of the first round. But yeah, we'll see. I think people have told me that if any team can beat Renegade's team, it would be Kiri's. Kiri's got a pretty strong team, I'd say, but uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, they would be 1-0 up if that round actually counted, but uh, it doesn't because of two crashes. And then we'll get going. Of course, we're waiting for Swab as the last guy to join. So he's the reason why we're not in the second game or the redo of the first game. So yeah, if I just go through the teams while we're all waiting, I believe it's Felum, Gorfu, Kiri, and Zeph versus Void, Swift, Renegade, and Swab. Those are the that is the 4v4 we've got. So this is a CC Cup at the moment. Um, we've had the round of 16 and quarterfinals that we've completed, so we're already very deep into this uh, tournament. So this is just the final day of it. We'll be finding a winner after tonight. But uh, yeah, there should be plenty more tournaments to be uh, to be played in the uh, the tournament Discord. There's normally scrims and I believe next one would be June Jubilation, I believe, after this. So uh, hopefully it won't be too long until that. But I believe everybody's in and we should be ready to go soon. Yeah. They're all ready and up now, so... You can see the timer in the top left of the screen. Uh, so we're going to be starting in 40 seconds. And uh, yeah, welcome in, everybody. Do appreciate you all stopping by. Hope you're all doing well this uh, Saturday. Saturday evening, Saturday afternoon, 
Maybe Sunday morning if you're in like Australia or something. But yeah, we'll be getting going in 15 seconds and then we will uh, begin the first round again. I was supposed to get Hydraulics on as like a, a guest, like co-commentator for these finals, uh, but he hasn't turned up. So, yeah, rip. Bro, my drip, guys. Look at these angel wings. Makes it absolutely impossible to play, but, uh, you know, that's what the drip looks like. Right, so here we go. Game one and a half, I guess. Bro, Mark's slacking. Right, there we go, finally. So, looks as if Renegades team are going to be dropping around Tiki Temple. Looks like where Swab's going. Or is he going to jibate me and go somewhere else? Yeah, Tiki Temple, it looks like. Swift, nearby in Wavy Waterside. And then Kiri's team looks to be going around the mountain. Yeah, Phelan's going Mammoth Mountain. Kiri's going to be on top of the mountain. We'll see where everybody else is. Renegade's with Swift. Gorfu's with Kiri at Lonely Lodge. And Void is at Groovy Grove. So it seems like it's fairly central for Kiri's team. And then it'll be bottom right of the map where Renegade's team is. So we'll just have a look at the loot. Real quick, the boy's got pretty decent RNG. Couple of purples and a grey shotgun. And decent shield as well. Could probably get 100 shield if he pops that 50. Uh, Zeph with a purple AR. Green SMG. And he's got that gun that like flings you across the map. But I can't remember what it's called. That he's just used. It's not a hand cannon. I'm fairly sure I called it a hand cannon last time. And everyone was like, eh, hand cannon, lol. Noob. Uh, swab with a blue one of those. And then a purple AR green shotgun. And then slurp and six minis already. So he's doing pretty well on the shield front. Got some splashes as well. Which I believe he should have used, but he didn't. Swift, purple AR, purple SMG, blue heavy shotgun as well. Those are some pretty decent weapons there. Kiri, less so. He's got a grey AR and a purple pistol. It doesn't look like he's, he's been looted. Looks like he's going for mats. He's got 265 wood. And then we're back to Felon with his blues and purples. So let's see where the teams are. I think I've already explained where everybody is. So you can see there, Kiri's team fairly central. And then if we pan over to the right, you can see there, Swab and Void. And then if we turn a bit, we've got Swift and Renegade there. So uh, not too far away from each other at the moment. I feel like Renegade and Felon are the two closest ones to each other, although they're still ages apart from each other. Seth coming down to Mammoth Mountain. Looks like he's uh, looted. Lonely Lodge completely. Flint Flintlock? Flintlock? Something like that. Sounds right. I'll just call it a Flint. 
Yeah, Zaf just needs a 50 pot. Renegade probably needs a 50 pot as well. And then practically everybody's at full health and shield. Ready uh, for some engagements. Normally Renegade's team is quite aggressive when it comes to um, facing opponents. I'm not too sure whether they're giving Kiri's team a lot of respect. Because normally they kind of just drop on the other team and kill them in about 30 seconds. So yeah, not going to be for a little bit. Although Fellerman Zephyr are rotating towards Renegade's direction. So have another checkup of the loot. Fellum there still with his blues and purple pistol. Renegade with a gold sniper this time to go with his uh, purple AR blue heavy. Gorfu still with his uh, grey AR but has got a blue heavy shotgun. And Flint, three slurps as well. And four med kits. I mean, I don't know whether that guy's looking for a heal off. Just picked up a purple heavy there, which is very useful. Void there, also with a gold heavy sniper. So, Renegade's team have two heavy gold snipers, which is fair enough. Looking to rotate towards his team there and away from the zone. Zeph just finishing looting the waterfall. I feel like most people have the same loot now. Swab with six minis, three slurps. But yeah, a lot of blues and a lot of purples out there on the map. So uh, some people could be deleted if uh, they do get focused. Just going to see where everybody else is. So storms begin to close in. It's pushed Swab and Swift further in. Although both teams are still quite far away from each other. Let's just check where the zone is. It's southwest. So it's literally like over in this direction here where the desert is. And it looks as if both teams are going to be rotating there quickly. To try and get a, uh, a leg up over the opposition. Yeah, we'll just see how the teams are doing. Not much going on at the moment. I think it's just some more looting. Everyone with a lot of builds as well. I think Renegade may have spotted something. Doesn't choose to go for a shot. I think he's just scouting out the... Uh, out the map. 900 wood, 100 brick, 137 metal. Yeah, everybody with a lot of builds. So I don't think uh, running out of materials will be a bit of an issue for uh, anybody in this uh, game. Especially with so much time going on. Between the start of the game and now. Swab just maxing out using the apples on the ground. And yeah, Swift last to rotate in, I believe, from their team. Kiri looking to get a decent vantage point on the pyramid. But Golfu's just been tagged there for a little bit. Not too much though, so she'll be able to heal up fairly easily. Swift has traded though. Look over at Swift there. He's got very little shield. Just managed to use some of his 50 pots. 50 pots? Yeah. Sounded right. But yeah, now we're in the desert area. And I hate being in the desert area because I literally can't see any of the names. But I can just, um, just make out where everybody is. Renegade's pretty much separated on his own. So you've got Swab, Swift, and Void in the top of that tower. And then Renegade in kind of like a flanking position. I believe someone's just been tagged. So Swift there tagged again. And I wasn't too sure. Someone was very low earlier on. But yeah, void tag. So so, so uh, Kiri's team is actually doing pretty well in terms of tags. Felon has just gone down to about 6 HP again. 
Where is he? There we go. So, yeah, Felon's on 6 HP. Should be able to heal up. But on not a lot of shield, though. Oh, Kiri now's first to go. Not, but I don't believe he's going to be uh, finished, I don't believe. Felon's providing decent enough cover for the res. So you can see the both players trying to go for a pick, but uh, Void's in the air. And let's see uh, what happens here. Yeah, they begin to push now from pretty much all angles. And we'll see if uh, Kiri's team has time to heal up. Zeph tagged again. He's only down to half shield. Kiri, I think, is only on 30 HP after that res. Very slow from Renegade. Normally they would have pushed up by now and just gone for the for the game end. So Storm's going to push in. Kiri's down again. Zeph down by Swab. So it's a 2v4. Ooh, good crack there by uh, Felon. Renegade's down. So it's a nice trade by Gorfu. But Gorfu is down. Felon's last alive. Oops. And goes down to Void. So it's the first round to Renegade's team. Even though Renegade actually died in that. So there we go. First round to Renegade. He's 1-0 up in this. And so they need two more to uh, advance. And we'll get going. So next game, just going to be rejoining the VIP server. I'm just slowly waiting for those to join. Mark really wants to try and keep the uh, the momentum going. So Felon, Gorfu, Kiri, Swift and Zephyr all in. So we're just waiting on three more. It's going to run that ad now, actually. Thanks for reminding me. Appreciate it. Easy money. Right, so we are coming back. Yeah, so I believe Kiri got double sniped by... Uh, who was it? Void and Swab, I believe. So yeah, that's why he went down. He, he took a bunch of damage and then he just got double sniped by two people and just instantly... Even though he was on like 200 HP, he just got clapped. Like, two in one. Renegade got sniped twice for 194 as well. So a lot of uh, decent exchanges just uh, didn't really go Kiri's way. And Renegade eventually took it. So we have readied up. We're going to be starting in 30 seconds time. So there we go. Top left there. 24 seconds to go. And we'll be joining in for game two. So if you just joined us, Renegade is one up. And needs two more to take the entire series, pretty much. So 
So remember after this, uh, we'll be seeing Exploiting Fire versus Synctional. That's in the second semi-final. And then whoever wins this game, and then whoever wins the game between Fire and Sync, will be playing tonight in the final. So don't miss that, guys. Right, so here we go. Renegade's one up. And yeah. So interesting to note that Renegade has only ever lost one round in this tournament so far. That was in the round of 16 uh, when Gabe took it. So yeah, Gabe lost 3-1, but they're the only team to take a round. Bilal didn't even turn up for his quarterfinal versus Renegade. And so Renegade just took it 3-0 by default. So we'll see whether Kiri can do what uh, only Gabe has done at the moment and try and take around, try and get the equaliser, or if Renegade will go 2 0 up after this. Oh, yeah, Mark with the double kill. Let's go. So Swift looks like he's going around the same area. It's going to go to Wavy. Oh, and it's going to be a contest. This one could be very quick. Swift gets the chest. Kiri's in this same building. And so it's going to be a bit of a rush for weapons here. God, it's going to be very quick. Swift knocks out Felham already. That's probably in the tower. Portal Fort goes down. So there's Felon beamed inside the little warehouse thing. But he has stayed alive, so we can get rest here. Gorfu just peeking. Trying a bit of comms for his team. Renegade very low as well, and only with an SMG at the moment. No heals. So he is struggling a bit. We'll have a look. We'll go to free cam straight away. So you can see... Pretty much everyone's here. Kiri's going to go in the building. I think he's probably spotted out the other team. Kiri's down to void and taken out. So it's a 3v4 for the moment. Felum's healing up, but there's no shield on him or Zeph. Gorfu's in the building too. Void knocked. By Gorfu and Renegade knocked as well by Zeph. So it's Swift and Swab to try and clutch a 2v3. Gorfu down. And so it's a 2v2 for the moment. Swift and Swab versus Zeph and Felum. Everybody with no shield and practically one shot, I'd say. Zeph knocked. And so it's Felum to clutch. And that is it. It's all over in about a minute or so. They looked to have clutched it. There was a 2v3, but in the end, Swift and Swab ended up clutching. Yeah, 2v3, and they won it. I think it helped that Zeph and Felum didn't have any shield and didn't have any health. But, uh, yeah. If either of them had any more health or shield... Then it probably could have been a bit closer, but in the end, it's 2-0 to Renegade. And so after all that, we're going to try and get everybody back in now for the third game.
bro. There was actually a chance then. I've, I'm fairly sure that was all just down to RNG. I think Swift got the best drop, but they couldn't finish um, Felum. But, but to be honest, Kiri's team could have won that. They were in a position. They decided to push for it. And they lost. So it was a 2v3. So they had the advantage. I think Gorfu couldn't have really helped himself going down. Considering he was literally right on the final two people. Uh, so he went down. And yeah, it was a 2v2, Ren versus Phelum. Uh, yeah. Phelum and Zeph versus Swift and Swab. And yeah, it was a very easy cleanup from those two to uh, win the second game. So it could be all over and done with in about half an hour. The entire series. So yeah, I'll need one more to take it. And it could be, uh, yeah, a clean sweep for Ren's team against Kiri. But the other team, sh the other um, team's game should be a lot closer. So Fire and Synctional. I'm not too sure who would take that. I mean, both teams have had the good moments and the terrible moments. So uh, it might be a lot closer than this game. But uh, yeah, Renegade's been... Uh, been kind of wrecking everybody at the moment as i said before he's only lost one round and i believe we're now readying up for the next game so this could be it for kiri's team it's now or never he needs to win all of the remaining three games to uh to advance and knock out renegade and probably one of the biggest shocks ever but Yeah, we will see. So here we go then. Renegade 2 0 up. Needs one more to advance through to the finals and be the first finalist. But we'll see whether Kiri can put up any sort of fight, pretty much. Damn, 15 damage, bro. That's crazy. Let's go. Right. So Swift's first to jump. Probably going to be going the mountain. And it looks as if everybody's going the mountain again. 
can have a monk at S moment. We'll see if uh, Curious, team can, Curious Team can do any better this time. Get a gun, get first blood, maybe. Lots of stuff going on. I can't do free cam yet, so if you ask, I can't. Void down to Gorfu early and finished. So it's like an immediate 3v3. And I think the rest of the team's bailed. They've just left him. Oh, massive tags there. Gorfu down to 45. I think he might just call it out to the rest of his team that have got more shield. Oh yeah, Renegade's there. Swab takes out Gorfu and Kiri. Renegade takes Felon. And so Zephyr's last alive. Do I even need Fee Cam for this one? They're trying to get him with Stink. Zeph gets Renegade. And Swab. 23 HP in a 1v1. And Swap wins it with a sport rifle. <laughs> and that's it. End of series. 3-0. It really was that easy. Again, they could have clutched it, but uh, yeah, the Spore Rifle wins it. And there we go, that's it. Let me just see whether this graphic actually works. Yeah, it does, but it's like not aligned. There you go. So there we go. Wins it with a sport rifle. Oh, right. Okay. So, update. Update. Um, basically, uh, Sinction all has forfeited his semi final. So, in the most anticlimactic finals ever. Oh, wait. That's the wrong way. Oops. It is Renegade versus Exploiting Fire in the final. So there we go. So yeah, it's uh, it's go time, boys. Uh, yeah, Synctional's forfeited, and so it's Renegade versus Exploiting Fire in the final.
So there we go. I think we're going to be waiting for the um, for the teams to join. I think a link has been sent around now. So it's a pretty anticlimactic stream, pretty much. Just got a link from Mark there. So we'll be joining that. But uh, yeah, no semi-final with Synctional. Fire. To be honest, Fire, that's a pretty decent result, you know. I mean, you might get absolutely clapped by Renegade, but... In the end, you made it to a final. I mean, that's not bad. And, and to be honest, you could still win it. So it's not completely out of the question, but I mean, come on. Let's be real. Right, let me just change the prediction. So Renegade wins. And you'll get your Twitch points for those that picked Renegade. So yeah, we'll probably do one more prediction. We'll see how one-sided it is. I mean, I'd imagine it was would be fairly one-sided considering it's Renegade. Renegade wins every vote ever. But K Kiri did win that other prediction pretty much. So yeah, just waiting for um, everybody to join, I think. Renegade's team should be coming in soon. Yeah, Fire's in, Swifty's in, Renegade's in. Just waiting for some more. You know, for someone that said he doesn't want to play, Fire is in fairly quickly. Lol. But yeah, still waiting on those to join. Only got five in at the moment. And two of them are me and Mark, so we've only got three players in. Mark's kind of getting a bit mad because he wants everybody to join. Which is kind of funny. But uh, yeah, slowly going to be getting people in. So this is the final. After this, we will be crowning our winner. And it's either going to be Renegade or Fire. But do we really know who it is already?
Renegado Fuego Explosivo. Have we got Spanish people in? Hola. Como estas? Me llamo Sojambi. Yo juego. Um, il. Isla Royalo? I don't know. Hang on. Isla Real. Isla Real. Yo juego Isla Real. Bro, I'm so pog. Suscríbete con Twitch Prime. There you go. That's for all the Spanish people. Suscríbete con Twitch Prime. I think we're waiting for people to come in fairly soon. So let's see who's in. We've got Janne, Lenny, Renegade, Swift, Swab, Fire. I think we're just waiting on a couple more, I think. So Jambi with the Spanish. Yeah, bro. Um, soy el mejor... Jugador. Jugador del mundo. Soy el mejor jugador del mundo. Um, da controller. Controlador. Controlador. En el controlador. There you go. Soy el mejor jugador del mundo en el controlador. There you go. There you go. Is that, is that pro? Is that pro? Is there a lot of Spanish speakers in the chat then? Like, I, I never realized a lot of Spanish people spoke, to be honest. Like, <laughs> is that it? I don't know. It was a weird reaction, to be honest. Right, for God's sake, we're still getting people in. We're not taking forever. Por favor, unete al juego. Who did you pick in the poll? I picked Jud. Jud, bro. Bro, has this just turned into a, a Spanish stream all of a sudden? Uno Taco Bell, por favor. Con queso. Uno Grande Burrito. Is that racist? I don't know. Right. Who are we waiting on? All right. We're waiting on nobody. It's time to start the finals. Shout out to Portugal. Let me, let me say something in Portuguese. Portuguese. Oh, we're actually in the game. Sorry, guys. Got him. I didn't mean that, Rick. I didn't mean that.
what I meant was I didn't realize there was a lot of Spanish speakers in the chat, is what I meant. Hola, muy nombre es Sajambi. Uy, to Toco Island Royale. There you go. There you go. Right, so game one, here we go. Going to do a little prediction. Right, here we go. Swab is in Dumpy Depot. Lenny's in Tremendous Tower. The thing with Lenny is, he's the most frustrating person to, like, have in a tournament like this. Because he literally goes in the middle of nowhere. I'll try and show you what I mean in a little bit. But I can probably tell you now that where he is now is literally nowhere near everybody else. Exploiting with blue SMG... Purple shotgun, purple sniper. Nice RNG, bro. PV. I thought I said something in Portuguese. Hola, muy nome es Jambi. Is that... Is that Portuguese? I think so, isn't it? Como voce do? Something like that. Anyway, enough of me speaking languages. Right, let me see if I can show you what I'm on about when it comes to Lenny. So, Void, Swift, and Renegade. Oh, Lenny's actually fairly close to everybody this time. Is that it? Just doing a 360 panoramic. But yeah, everybody's there. So, the teams are Swift, Void, Renegade, and Swab, who are all spaced apart. This is Janne, Fire, and Lenny. And I'm guessing somebody else? Although I'm guessing... Fire's team's only got three people in it, which, I don't know, is kind of kind of sad, I guess. Unless there's someone I'm, like, missing. But yeah, nothing really to see at the moment. Right, let's have a look at these uh, these predictions as we'll go on with Renegade. So 24,600 and... What the hell? 806 keeps going up, bro. This is 3,200 on fire. So that's 89% on Renegade, 11% on Fuego. Apparently, none of you have any hope in with Fire, especially because he's in a 3v4 automatically. Hola, muy nombre. Eh, so jambi. I think Swab knows where uh, the other team is. He's on his own, but just looking across. Swab kind of knows where they are, so he's probably called that out. Yeah, he's probably called that out. Then I guess now Renegade and his team can probably just push on. And just try and get the first round sorted. I guess they must know that they're in a, a man advantage at the moment. Going with Swab. He's got his uh, gold sniper. So if he does connect one of these shots, he should be... Uh... Mm. 
he should be in with uh, a chance of getting an early kill here. So Lenny rotating in, going for the drop. That's probably been seen by the other team. They should be able to see his builds. Swift, I believe, has seen him. And Renegade, yeah. So they're just pushing in on Lenny now. But Renegade choosing to run away at this point. Must be scared. Yeah, nothing really happening at the moment. Oh my god, thanks for the gifted sub, Rick. Appreciate it. When I said you're rich, you didn't have to, like, give me some of it. So having a bit of a panoramic at the moment of the, uh, of the map. Renegade's team just claiming most of the circle, really. I'm just rotating in so they don't get caught. I don't think uh, there's too much of an issue in terms of health at the moment. But, uh, yeah. That's it at the moment. Wait, can you actually mine this pyramid? Like, he can. What? Okay. That's probably worked against them. I wouldn't have done that if I were them, because now they've got no cover. Okay. Swift is still looting, probably trying to get a better shotgun than that grey. Janet with pretty decent weaponry. Probably your standard weaponry when it comes to uh, games like these. Exploiting fire with also a grey. Void with a blue heavy. Yeah, everyone's pretty sorted. Renegade with two rifts, so can choose to um, use one of those and literally just drop on their opponents if he wants to. Porter fall goes down. And exploiting probably would have seen that. Renegade tagged very low to no shield, so Exploding ends up winning that duel then. Imagine, Renegade misses every shot and Exploiting probably gets Renegade to within one. One tap, I'd say. Probably would have to be a headshot, but... Some good trades there for, uh, for Fire there. He's got his uh, Guzzle Jug there, so he's used that, so he's not got any more. With his gold AR. Swab jumping in. See if he can get the opening kill. Uses the boogie bomb. But Jan is knocked. First one to get knocked. We'll just go on with Swab as he's like using all of his builds. Exploiting in a 2v1. Knocked. So I believe it's down to Lenny in the background. Who goes down pretty much straight away. And so that's one for Renegade. So uh, yeah, it's probably going as we expected. 1-0 to Ren. So we're going to be uh, rejoining in a second. But yeah, Renegade 1-up. Is it inevitable that we're going to win 3-0? Well, yeah, that is it. So Renegade. A third of the way to a CC Cup win. But I mean, to be honest, you know, if I was in it, 
I wouldn't even need a team. I'd just 1v4 all of them, you know, on controller, because I'm that good. Yeah, so there we go. 1-0 on the board. Thanks for the hydration check, Sand. Appreciate it. I've got my water here so I don't sound too hydrated, but uh, yeah, I might need to refill it. Actually, I might not even need to refill it, to be honest, because... I mean, if this is a 3-0, then I'm going to be done in about 20 minutes. Like, it's just going to be a quick two-hour stream. So yeah, just waiting for the next team to come in. Oh my god, got him! Thanks for the raid, Kyle. That's absolutely life-changing. Thanks for the raid of 1 million, bro. Holy moly. No shot, bro. That's insane. Ha Welcome, everyone, from Kyle's stream. I'm Sajambi. Oh, thank you so much for sharing your community with me. Oh my god, this is absolutely insane. Never happened in my life, ever. I'm so blessed. So blessed, bro. Papa bless. I mean, you can clip it and ship it all you want. Papa blessed. Right, still waiting for a couple of people to join. I'm not too sure if we're going to get everybody in this time, because apparently Fire said he'd forfeited, but he's in the game. Janet, Lenny, Renegade, Swift, Swab, and Fire. So it could be a 3v3, I believe. And I think we're ready to go. Yeah, it's a 3v3. Oh my god, Papa Bless. Another raid, that's insane, bro. Thanks for the raid, Rick. Appreciate it. Hope your stream was good. I have more viewers than XQC. That's because I'm better. Oh my god, bro. I've literally just got him with like two seconds to spare. <laughs> so they said ready up in trios and I never read that. So I was readying up in squads. That's insane.
Okay, yeah. So I literally read it up with four seconds to spare. I never realized I actually moved to trios instead of squads. So I nearly missed it. But uh, we didn't. Let's go! Oh, another raid, so pog. That's insane. Right, here we go. I look forward to watching that stream after I've done, Rick. Right, here we go. 1 0. And we'll see. So, Exploiting is the first one to jump out. Looks like he's going to. Um, Depot again. Kelp's just, uh, I don't know. Wait, is he actually alive or is he a sub? No, I think, no, he's not. I think uh, Mark stopped him. Oh my God, thanks for the sub, Rick. Okay, oh, stop, uh, stop spending your money, save it for yourself, bro. Uh, so run Renegade. Hey, uh, Rick is rich. I like to call him Rich Roll because he's rich. Get it? Haha. <laughs> Swab with the God Loot, purple AR, purple pistol, and a bush. The Sajambi special. And the Clever special, actually. Janney just uh, looting up, pretty much. Let's have a look where everybody is. Remember, it is a trios, by the way. So it looks as if I think it's Void that has not played. So he's opted out of this round, which makes it a bit more balanced. Swab is in his normal tower position across from the mountain. Exploiting tag there for 40, I believe, by Swab. But Renegade very low, as is Exploiting. So we'll probably see those two players heal up while we're... Uh... Other players are rotating. Janny there just uh just scouring out the rest of the uh, the area. They know where everybody is. I guess Swab is the unknown. Cause he could get 
Swap could get an easy snipe in because everyone's in the open pretty much. Thanks for the egg cow store running after this. Um, but yeah, Janny, Lenny, exploiting. They have the high ground. So if the two teams were equal, they would have the advantage pretty much. But Janny has been tagged very, very low. They have healed up, so it's kind of an even 3v3 at the moment, but... Uh... Oh, Exploiting's going for it. Going on to Swift. Oh, 196. Nice one, bro. Boogie Bomb onto him, so should be able to... Uh... Get a kill, maybe. Lenny knocks Swift, so it's a 2v3. Swab coming in with some damage. I think he's cracked the shield of one of them. Hasn't landed any more shots, but it's building up like an absolute madman. What is this? Getting contested. Now on no shield. Now I'm on with Janny, and I literally cannot follow this. What is this? Lenny knocked by Swab. That's Renegade that they're going on to, and is knocked by Janny. And is finished off, so I believe it's a 2v1. Unless Lenny can be rezzed, and then it's a 3v1 with Swab. Last alive for Renegade's team. So that's where the teams are at the moment. Swab getting a chance to put some shield up, so it is definitely doable if he can get tags onto Fire and Lenny fairly quickly. Janna will be the one that will be the most difficult. Because he's got full health and full shield. Storm's beginning to come in though. So Swab could potentially hold them. Fire is very low. Manages to get a med kit off. But uh, Swab is surrounded now. Knocks Janny. And that was the one with the most health. So could he 1v3? No, he can't. Lenny with the, uh, with the kill to tie it up. So it's now, all of a sudden, got kind of interesting. Renegade. One. Fire one. And Renegade has finally lost a round. And they're actually in with a chance now. It was actually fairly clinical. It was fairly tough in terms of um, in terms of health. Like uh, exploiting and Lenny, I think barely got out alive. But uh, they only needed to stay alive. They healed up and they managed to uh, take out Renegade. And was it Swift as well? I believe they took out. And none of their team went down apart from Lenny, which they rezzed up fairly easily. Swab was last alive, and obviously in a 3v1, he could only do so much. So it's one all. Renegade's lost a round, so he is actually beatable now. So, uh, yeah, we're now back to level terms. So, uh, those people that put some uh, Twitch points onto fire might be looking in for a pretty decent return. So Neymar put 3,000 Sajan bucks on. If Fuego wins, he will get more than 13 times that. So he'll get 39,000 back. Pretty much. So from th he'll, he'll earn 36,000 alone just from that one prediction. So yeah, one all. I think we're just getting everybody back in now. 
And I think we're going to be going with trios from, from now on. Obviously, it was unfair that uh, it's going to be a 4v3, but uh, Renegade's given them a chance and they've took it, pretty much. Way goes crying that he hit uh, Ren for 22 with a shotgun. Keck W. So let's see. I think it's going to be another trio. So it's Janne, Lenny, and Fire against Void, Swab, and Swift. So Renegade's not going to be in this one, which seems weird considering it's the team captain. So it's going to be Team Renegade, but he's not going to be playing. What? Okay. Or is Renegade actually going to be in? I know he's not. So yeah. There's going to be a sub. I think Void's coming for Renegade. Clearly Renegade doesn't want to play against... I don't know. So there we go. Another trios game. Should be ready up now. And yeah, one all. Very interesting. So we go game three of the grand final. Renegade one, fire one. And yeah, now that it's been trios, it's been a pretty uh, different ball game for a fire. They kind of took that one fairly easily, although a lot of things kind of had to go their way for that game to work out. But they're on the board, and that should give them at least some hope that they can... Uh, at least get around so if they can get one they can certainly get another and considering uh, it's equal they've got at least another couple of chances to uh, get a second round on the board So we go then, the bus is loaded. And we're all ready for the third game. So whoever wins this round will have two chances to win the entire tournament. Because obviously there'll be two one up and they'll just need uh, one more to win from the final two rounds. And so exploiting, going towards Groovy Grove. Swift has probably spotted that. And we'll be going towards Mammoth. Same with Void. And Swab is all on his own in Lonely Lodge. So uh, they're all kind of concentrated towards one corner of the map. Although I don't think anybody is close enough to their... Um, To their opposition to probably get any shots away. Don't know how Janet took full damage then. I mean, pro gamer move, obviously.
There we go. Swift. Engaging with the wall. Just showed the wall who's boss there. So Void is the sub. So we didn't play last game, but we'll be playing in this one. See if it can make any difference. Let's just see. Where the teams are. So like we said, Void and Swift in Mammoth. We'll see. Where's Swabo? He's gone towards Depot. And then exploiting fires all together around Groovy Grove there. Janet probably needs to pop another 50. And then Fire and Swab just needs to uh, cap off their... Um, their shields but then we'll have um everybody with pretty much max health and max shield after that so probably the uh the best setting for um a, a 3v3 fight probably not going to get one for a little while though considering they're all so far apart i think what seems to be the tactic between renegade and other teams is that renegade's team is always very spread out whereas the teams that they've been facing so kiri and now exploiting fires has literally just been all about trying to group up and and not be picked off because obviously if one person's on their own then that's just an easy 1v3 1v4 something like that so yeah we'll just have a look at the loot void blue ar I think has just dropped a pump for attack, I think that is. And then we've just got a purple pistol as well. Six minis, 350s, easy. Lenny with a sniper, so I could probably scout out the uh, the distance, see if he finds any enemies. He's got a blue heavy and a uh, blue AR as well. Swab, lots of shields, as you can see. But he's got a purple AR, blue heavy as well. Jane, blue AR, and a purple heavy this time with a, a flint knock as well. Chooses to go for some grenades as well. Are those Jane just crashed? Yeah, I think he's just crashed. Oops, is that going to be a redo again? Yeah, 2v3. And it was all going so well. Bro, Bouncy Bull in the chat has just said, Mexican Wi-Fi go brr. Like, okay, bro. So I'm going to be uh, going around looking at the uh, the game. But uh, it could definitely be a redo. Just waiting on the announcement to say that it's going to be a redo. But we'll go on for now. It is a 2v3. Lenny and Fire now as the two alive versus Void, Swift and Swab. And they're just retreating into this corner now. I'm not too sure whether it's going to be a redo. I'm not sure Mark has said anything yet, but we'll see. We'll play on for now. We'll play on for now, although if Mark does put an announcement out, that'll be what his word is. And congratulations to your mom 
for winning with 10 votes in that poll. Exploiting fire, trying to go for some shots with his sniper. So there's an announcement now. Yeah, so Mark's seen that um, Juane is uh, DC'd. But is anything going to happen? Swift's going in for the kill anyway. On to Lenny. Oh, Void. Oh, Void chunked. Fires down. So it's a 1v3, but it's even going to matter. Swab going on the top, as is Void and Swift. Lenny might get one. Swift's very low. Does get Swift and rotates away. But he is one shot in a 1v2. You can see his building. I'm not too sure. 45, but that is it. Void picks it up, but I'm not too sure about whether that actually counts. So it looks as if it's going to be a redo. So despite Void and Swab winning because of the DC, it might be a redo. So we'll see what Mark has to say. For now, the score is one all still. And I think Mark's going to be looking at it. So it's still one all. Um, but depending on like the, uh, the scenario of them being DC'd, it could still be around for Renegade. Everything's still up in the air at the moment, so might be a minute or two until we get back with that. But yeah, it's actually got quite interesting all of a sudden. Okay, so it's still 1-1. One, one. Still 1-1. One, one. So this is going to be a redo of the third game uh, because of uh, Juan is DC. Going to try and get everybody back in as quick as we can and then get the next game going again. So score is still one all. So despite Renegade winning it, it doesn't count because of the uh, of the redo. He crashed when there was nobody fighting and uh, no damage has really been done. So uh, 
because of that. They're just redoing the entire game. And it will stay as one all. So another chance for uh, exploiting to uh, to get around on the board. They're still in with a chance. They're still uh, even with Renegade after two games. And so, yeah, I think we're just waiting for the last couple of people to get themselves in. So Lenny, Swift, Swab, and Fire is in. So two more we're waiting on, I believe. So I think we're waiting on Juan Ayu disconnected. And I think we're also waiting on either Renegade or Void, depending on who they want to sub in. Yeah, join on Void to join, and then we should be ready to go. Right, ready up. Still one all. So yeah, just uh, 25 seconds until we get into the next game. And then we'll, uh, we'll get going pretty much. So there we go. A redo of game three. It is one all. And this is a redo of uh, the third game because of Juan ADC in. But yeah, now Renegade's back in. It's a 3v4, so it could be just going one way now. Yeah, no more trios. It is, uh... That's pretty much it. So unless uh, somehow exploiting can turn it back into a 3v3 and then win from there, it's going to be very tough for them. It's going to be very, very tough. But we'll see whether they can do it. They've already got one round on the board. We'll see if they can do it again. Mark kill me sad face. Very sad. Uh, Swab looks like he's going to Lonely Lodge. So normally he literally just goes to Lonely Lodge or the uh, the tower across the way. Which is in Loopy Land? Something like that. Looks right.
Swift, Ren, and all of his team seems to be going Mammoth Mountain again. Janna going Dumpy. So it seems like there's a lot of people in the same area. Yeah, Void's going Lonely. So yeah, it seems everybody's in the same kind of area. Mammoth, Lonely, Depot. And that's it, pretty much. So, could be getting an engagement if any team spots out an opponent. Juan has got, like, the perfect gun for it. A gold sniper to uh, probably tag and knock somebody in one shot. Lenny with a purple AR and a sniper as well. So, yeah, very good guns at the moment. So Renegade just picked up some shield finally. Um, it's got a green heavy AR and a revolver, which probably isn't the best weapon. Just picked up a purple pistol as well. Fire being contested and is already knocked by Void. So I did say if anybody gets spotted out, it could be over, and it is over fairly quickly, although... Lenny's nearby to Void and is getting tagged. Swift in um, assistance and swab. So it could be over very quickly. Not too sure how Lenny can get out of this one with uh, four people breathing down his neck. Lenny down by Swift. But Juane knocks Swift, Void with the trade, it's Exploding Fire that's left. And again, it's a very, very quick game. 2-1. So Ren, so he is one game away from winning the entire thing. Very, very easy. But it is a... Uh, it is a uh, 3v4. So hardly the most um, exciting games at the moment. It's not as if it's kind of balanced, but uh, I mean, you know, if one of uh, Fire's team doesn't turn up, then that's not really Ren's fault. He can just work with what he's got. And he's got a fairly easy advantage to try and defend. Interesting that um, Renegade at the moment has only ever lost two rounds in this tournament. He lost one to Gabe in the round of 16 and he lost one currently to uh, Fire. Could be more if, uh, if they get some more rounds, but um, looks to be very easy for um, Renegade at the moment. 2-1 they lead, one more game away from the win. And that is it. So we're just trying to get people in once again. I can see Lenny, Renegade, Swab and Fire in. So I think we're just waiting on a couple more. And then we'll get going for the fourth game of the final series. See, we've got some more Spanish speakers in. Still waiting for the next game to commence. We've had a couple more in now. So, Juane, Lenny, Renegade, Swab, Void, and Fire 
are all in. So it's looking like a 3v3 at the moment, but could still get an extra player in uh, to fill out a 4v3 and get this last game finished with. It looks like Renegade is going to be going for a 3v3. So... Um, looks like it's going to be balanced out. So it is a 3v3, so uh, they've got another chance to uh, get a round back. The previous 3v3 they did was very successful for um, for Fire's team. So they kind of took it relatively easily, which is why they've got a round on the board. They're probably hoping for similar things this time round to take it to a game five. And game five in the final, that would be very exciting but uh yeah still got this one to go yet and renegade could still easily turn it around and win the entire thing after this just waiting for the game to start about 20 seconds away it looks as if there's no void this time if i just double check uh oh void is in and there's no swift so swift is subbed out this time So Renegade is in, Swift is out. It looks as if they're just rotating through people as we go on, pretty much. Can I please try and get on this tree, bro? There we go. So here we go. Game four. We'll see if it's going to be a quick one or whether it's going to be a... Uh, or not. It all depends on whether Renegade will uh, drop on a common landing spot. Done by the other team. We had two contests in the uh, in the first semi-final featuring Renegade, and it, we might be getting the same thing again. Yeah, we are actually. Fire and uh, Void there going towards Depot. Renegade, Swab, Lenny, Juane, everybody's here. Fire's down, knocked out by Void. So it's a 2v3 already. Juane misses twice and just gets sent to the moon. Where's Void? Void's got the kill, so he's got his uh, 25 shields. Renegade's put a slurp on, so he's getting shield as well. Swab is very low. And he's taken out by Swab. Renegade's taken out as well. Juane trades. So I think it's a 1v1 here. Unless Lenny can res. Lenny versus Void. Void gets the finish, but gets tagged. It's 26 HP, and Lenny takes it. Easy as that. It's two all. We'll go into a game five in the final. So there we go. It is a quick one. Renegade can't finish it, and Lenny with all three kills.
Lenny literally just clutched up in that. He had all three kills. It is the ace. And so as soon as we've got in, we have to uh, join back again. And it is a game five in the final. This is four. And I cannot stress this enough. This is for the entire tournament. <laughs> this one game. Yeah, Lenny, MVP, hmm? Lenny MVP, he's just taken out, what, three of the best IR players on his own, carrying Fire's team to the, um, to a game five. I'm not too sure whether they'll let it uh, go to another... 4v3 or maybe another 3v3 but uh, yeah so when renegades have been in a 4v3 they've won but whenever it's been even in a 3v3 fires won it so it's only when renegade already has the advantage that they're able to win the um the win the round which is i don't know exposed yo So just looking in the server, it's Lenny, Renegade, Swab, and Fire. So we're just waiting uh, for two more. Yeah, purple pump first chest. I mean... Literally. So yeah, it's all leading up to this final game. So if fire wins, it means 20 people will lose a combined 40,000 Robux. Uh, not Robux, uh, Sajan Bucks. But as a trade-off... Neymar will win 39,000 on his own because he's put 3,000 on and his return rate is 13 to 1. So he'll win 13 times what he put in. Four people chose Fire to win and it's all down to this game pretty much. Who won? It's 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, so this is the first time Renegades ever lost two rounds in a series in the entire tournament. No one has even gone close to taking in this far. I mean, Gabe lost 3-1. So we did take a round off him, but that was it. Fire in the final. And you know what's funny? I've realized I've, I've spelled his name wrong, haven't I? I know I haven't. That's right. Wait, yeah, I have. I've got it wrong. Oh, for God's sake, one idiot. I 
face palette. So, Renegade, Swab, and Void is in for the trio. So, Swift is out. Void is back in. And it will be those three that have to face off against Fire, Lenny, and Juane. So in about maybe five to ten minutes time, we'll have our CC Cup winner. Everybody thought it was Renegade's tournament to win. It could still be their tournament to win. But... Uh... Yeah. 2-2. Two, two. It's a game five in the final. I feel like there's going to be a lot of clips made about um, the end of this game, one way or the other. And so we'll see. So it all comes down to this one game, the entire tournament for both sides will come down to this game. Oh my god, Renegade's shaking, dying. Oh my god. Here we go then. Who you think's going to win, chat? This is your final game of the tournament. And Mark gets the first kill. No, mate, that's on me. Cheeky scrub. Renegade's first to jump. Looks like he's going towards Mammoth, it looks like. Exploiting. Looks like he's going the same way. As is Lenny. And Swap. Oh, no. I think they might be leaving it to RNG again. Exploiting jumps in with the chest and gets a purple pump and a purple SMG off spawn. Lenny, green SMG. Swab with a purple AR and a blue one, so can drop it. Exploiting's first to go down, though. Knocked by Void. Void knocks Lenny as well, so after all of that, it's down to Juane to 1v3. Oh, but apparently Renegade crashed. <laughs> oh, no. Bro, are you for real? <laughs> they literally just won the game. <laughs> and it's apparently a redo? I don't even know, bro. I've just been debated by Mark. Um, yeah. I don't even know what to explain with that. So, I'm fairly sure it's back to the lobby. After all that, it's 2-2. Two, two. And so, even though Renegade won it, supposedly, I think it's going to be a redo.
I'm just asking Mark now what the verdict is. So, Mark saying they won the 2v3 anyway. But yeah, it's a redo. It's a redo. Mark said, don't be mad at me, guys. Mark made the decision. I think it was because that Mark already announced it before they won the game. So, obviously, that might change the mentality of some of the players. Obviously, if they think it's going to be a redo, they might act a bit different. So, it is a redo. We're going to get everybody back in. It looks as if everybody's back in. And we're going to be going again. So, after all that, they all landed together. Renegade supposedly won, but now he hasn't. So, yeah. Bro, imagine if Blooming Fire wins now. Bro, what an absolute robbery. What a robbery. So, Juani, Lenny, and Fire is in. And then it's Swab and Renegade. And then one more, I think. We're just waiting for one more person to join. Right. Here do we go. Final round. Mark says so. Okay. Mark made the decision, not me. I mean, I can, I can see why he did a redo because, you know... If someone DCs, it's a redo anyway, even if the same team wins. I mean, supposedly it would be whoever DC'd, it would be their decision. But, you know, Mark is supreme leader of everything Island Royale. And so here we go, back to a game five. Bro, I hyped that game up and everything and it doesn't even count. So sad. Right, here we go. Two, two. Fire wins, they robbed the game, literally. <laughs> Bro, I've never seen, I'm going to be honest, I've never seen a tournament where people have been eliminated and then uneliminated. Like, take Kev and Kiri. So, Kiri was 2 0 up in a 1v3. And then the last guy supposedly DC'd so they had to replay that game even though Kiri won the round so Kiri was 3-0 up pretty much but the third round had to be a redo and then Kev came back to win and then they had to redo the entire series and then Kiri won so Kiri was through and then not through and then eliminated and then not eliminated and then put through again in the space of a week so I don't know. So, Lenny 
Yeah, they're all landing separately now, thankfully. Four v three, who decide? Uh, it's a three v three. It's only fair that they do a three v three because if it was a four v three, it just wouldn't even be balanced, you know. My, what's the point, bro? Right. So a bit more of a calmer start to this game. Lenny, a blue AR, grey shotgun. Got a portal fort as well, which could be useful. Uh, void with a blue heavy shotgun, sniper and blue AR. Blue AR as well for fire. He's got a grey shotgun and a hunting rifle. Renegade pistol and then a couple of blues there for shotgun and AR. Juane, same blue AR, green SMG and a blue SMG actually. And then a rift as well. First time I've seen one of them. Yeah, first time I've seen a rift potentially used in a while. Swab there, open up a bunch of chests up. Got some decent loot out of that one. Lenny with a purple one as well is famous purple shotgun. That definitely hasn't won him games before. Void with one as well, although his is attack, I believe, so. There we go. Let's have a look at where the teams are then. It's pretty much similar to previous games. We've got Fire Lenny and Juane on the mountain, Void down below, and then Renegade and Swab across the way, so. Uh... Yeah, nothing too much to speak of at the moment. Although it seems as if... Uh... Lenny and Juane are gearing up to try and... Shoot some people. Bunch of shots being fired. No hits at the moment. Although Void looks like he's been tagged or he might be like down pretty low. Uh, traded back. Uh, but Fire needs to heal up. It's not the first time I've seen a Rift. It's the first time I've seen a Rift actually picked up in this tournament. Wait, why is some people still got grey shotguns? I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. But yeah, grey isn't the best one at the moment. Swab with a bunch of purples. Yeah, nothing really to speak of at the moment. Both teams just squaring up at the moment. Let's have a look at where the zone is. So the zone, fairly south. Fairly westerly. Centred around Dusty Dunes, actually. So I think that Fire's team might be in a bit of trouble. So you can see them, they're all the way over on the right hand side and they've literally got to go in that direction where nobody is at the moment. 
I think Renegade's team's on the edge, so they're pretty solidly in the zone. Get nae nae done, bro. Uh, so, not too many developments. I think Lenny and Fire are going around the outside. So not to uh, be noticed by Renegade and his team. Renegade tags him. Oh, and gets the shield off. And it looks like they're going to get healed up for now. Yeah, they are actually, so they're looking pretty healthy now. Renegade Void rotating in, and Swab is there just to uh, deny them from entering in the circle, I think. So very kind of passive play from Fire's team, whereas Renegade is pretty much just holding. What is that beam, bro? Nice um, aimbot. What was that? It was just hitting for like four headshots in a row. What is this? I mean, he didn't get the kill. So uh, Juane is, uh, is healing up now. Let's go with all the players. And again, it's pulling even further to the west of the map. So it looks as if Renegade can literally just hold. Hold the team. Look how far away they are. They've got the Porter Fort down. I don't know what the hell that was on. Just looking at this. It's a bit of a standoff at the moment. Just looking at the map, you can see Renegade is on the edge of the storm there. On the uh, easterly point of the circle. He's literally watching Fire and his team. And they literally have to rotate. They have to push or else they're going to get caught by the storm. So let's see if they're trying to push. They're all spread out, Renegade team. So if they kind of focus one person, that could... Uh, that could be the difference. Juan oh, trying to get some tags off, trying to uh, push them away. Swab so trying to get an angle through the house and onto the portal, which is quite useful. Uses his shield. Lenny using the bounce pads to rotate. Hasn't managed to get himself in just yet. And the storm's moving away from him. So he needs to push in now. Mm, 
Yeah, and the storm is literally just doing all the damage. They literally do not even need to uh, do anything at the moment. They just need the storm to uh, take them out. Lenny's trying to uh, box them up, but they're all getting very low on health. Exploiting a couple of ticks away. Has to lunge in to the zone. Same with Lenny and Juani. And Juani might not even make it in. This man's on one HP. This man's on one HP. Fire knocked by Void. And eliminated. Oh, tagged. But Renegade with the finish. And so it's a 1v3. Onto Lenny at the top. He's done it once. Can he do it again for the clutch? Or is it going to be another tournament win for Renegade and Void? Void's low, so he could get one. And he's pushing, and Lenny is finished by Renegade. And that is it. It is 3-2. And so Renegade wins the tournament and wins the CC Spring Showdown. So there we go. Confirmation of the results. It was just one too far for fire as he narrowly gets beaten. 3-2 by Renegade in the final. Renegade with another win after the Winter Cup. And uh, wins the CC Spring Showdown. We'll see whether he can do it again next time. I'm not too sure what the next tournament is. Uh, I believe it's June Jubilation. I'm not too sure. But, uh, yeah, Renegade wins that one. Could be looking for a hat-trick of wins since I started streaming. Uh, but that is it. A very... I, w I wouldn't say easy win for Renegade in this tournament because obviously Fire took him all the way in the final. But, uh, yeah, along the way, you know, 3-1 versus Gabe, 3-0 versus Kiri. And 3-2 versus Fire was his uh, was a total list of results that they got. And yeah, that rounds out another tournament, guys. And yes, yeah, so ends another tournament. GG's, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it uh, as much as I was uh, enjoyed covering it. And uh, yeah, um, thanks all for stopping by. Thank you all for all the follows, for the subs if you subbed, and the bits if you donated bits to the stream. Um, I'm hopefully going to be back next time with the June Jubilation, I think the next cup is. So hopefully I'll get to cover that. Um, you know, if you do enjoy the coverage, make sure to put in a nice word to the staff so I can do it again. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have uh, an awesome day, guys. Thank you so much for watching all of the streams. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by tonight. And yeah, enjoy Island Royale. And hopefully uh, I'll see you on the battle bus very, very soon. Bye, guys. Enjoy your nights, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.